right, so yesterday I was really struggling with building a bar chart in R until somebody, Scott Kennedy, recommended that I check out SKS package. This package is almost like Tableau because when you run it, it actually lets you drag and drop the fields and the colors that you want to use in your visual. You can then either export this as a picture, export it into a PowerPoint, or even import the code right back into our studio so you could see how it was made. And that makes it a really great way to start learning how to use ggplot because you can actually see how your drag and drop features look as code. So here's a quick demo of how it works. First, I installed the packages tidyverse, ggplot, and I ran the library for that. Now we start a data frame. In this case, I'm using a superstore data set. We can see that the data frame works. I always like to run the header function to make sure that the data is coming properly. The next step is to install that packages SKS, and then I'm gonna click no here, and then run the library. Now, here is the fun part. If you type in SKS and then colon colon SKS or DF, and the DF here is the data frame that we just ran, and you run this code, this exciting stuff happens. At least for me, it's really exciting. Basically, it takes all of the column, column headers and puts it in here as little pills, just like it would in Tableau. And in our case, we can take, let's say, the customer segment, drag it to the X um, axis, and then for the Y axis, we can use, let me just move this picture down. We can use sales or something. Yep, let's use sales on the Y axis. And see right away builds a box plot because that's the recommended one. But I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a bar chart because that's what I'd like. Um, we can also put, for example, category on color and it splits it into different colors. You can also look at the other options. So labels and titles, we can title this chart and say sales by segment. You can add a subtitle, a caption. Um, our X label is segment, our Y label is sale, oops, sales, and we're not gonna have a color label. You can change the plot options. You can flip the coordinates, for example, choose different palettes, and that changes all the colors immediately. And you can change the legend positioning, you can also filter data, which I thought is really, really exciting. Um, there's just so many options and so easy to work with. Now, last but not least, so we can look at our image here, right? It's a nice little bar chart. We can click export and code. So you can either export this as, a, as an image, PNG, or download this as a PowerPoint. You can look at the code and you can also insert code directly into the script. And that's the best part. So we're gonna go ahead and close this. And you could see now it added a ggplot df um, and it has all of this code that if I went ahead and ran the code, it would actually give me the bar chart. Let me move this back up. It'll give me the bar chart right here. Now, this is a great learning tool because we can actually play with the code and see how it changes the images here, right? For example, bar fill, if we change this to, let's say the color red and rerun the code, it's, go, it's gonna go ahead and update the colors to red. We can also remove, for example, the coordinate flip. If we re remove that line item and run the code again, it's going to remove the flip coordinates and give us a regular vertical bar chart. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Do check out this uh, SKS package for yourself. It's a lot of fun.